Ever since I've been graced with the joy experienced through learning and implementing the teachings of Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, I've wanted to give back, but I was void of any viable path to do so until today. In the events that lie ahead, I've been given the chance to show my gratitude through building something that will potentially help many others along a similar journey. This documentary is about travel, building a business overseas, family, friends, camping, Oman Rosh Hashanah, and so much more. This video is about life in all its glory. Come along as I trek through the intricacies, the ups and downs, the decisions and actions that make a dream reality and enjoy. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says that the exodus of Egypt occurs in every human being, in every era, in every year, and in every day. The decision to wake up one morning while calmly resting in the desert plains of the Israeli south and decide to travel to another country can be a tough one for some, but not for me or my beloved. Having traveler personality, as we call it, we are afforded the ability to make such decisions with ease and with certainty. And just like that, the journey begins. That's me right now. Bye. I love you too. Bye. So the journey to Oman begins. Or do I take my smaller rumors? This behemoth of a Nikon. This is my old GoPro. I don't think I'm taking that. And I gotta take the recorder. And I gotta take my Talus. Oh, so I gotta wrap myself up. Talk to God. What do I need to take? My stuff ass. This baby right here. Yeah, so, you know, either I take this or I take that. Why not? I think I should eat breakfast, huh? Where is it? Premium, bro, oh, premium maple syrup. This is like drinking coffee on your fucking... <laughs> Imagine pouring coffee on your French toast. That's what this is. Well, we know what I chose. If you want to book a taxi on booking.com, it's pretty expensive for a, it's for a simple taxi. For example, they want 243 dollars, which is essentially 99 cents per kilometer because you have the distance is about 241 kilometers and the total price is 243 dollars. So they're charging one dollar per kilometer for a regular car. That's pretty expensive because I know the rates that it can be. See, anyone just flying in and taking any type of taxi like this, those are standard rates. But we know from Oman Express and Payekhala that we could get a regular taxi for 100, 120 bucks. So this is more than double the price. This is why these collaborations are important, but this is why resources and infrastructure are everything. You have to meet the right people to get the right prices and then set up a system that competes. Once Book Oman has that infrastructure in place to take a a regular car like this, a Volkswagen Jetta, for up to three people will probably cost half the price. Come on, come on, come on, give it some day. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baby. Saddling That's up. That's my blouse says, yeah, baby. Uh. Oh, so Woo! Got that alien wear. All right. On to the next part of the journey. 
getting closer. It takes a day, but eventually you get there. The other day I lost my wallet in one of these cars. I only realized the next day I called every taxi in Beersheba and it turns out it was in this office there. One person called another person who called another person. But every taxi here has a, a, a special number and a, a company that they work for. It's not all the same company. There's like 15 different companies. So if you lose your shit in one of them, you have to know which one you lost your shit in. So I lost my shit in one of them. Welcome to the... El Sheva bus station. Want some fungus pizza, falafel pizza? No problem. I give it to you. If you give it to me, I give it to you. Yo, I need to get a. That's what I was talking about. I should get one of these. Put my um. Put my Alienware laptop in that. It's a big laptop, so it has to fit. But, bruh or one of these small ones. Hey, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, let's keep looking for aroma. Mm. I love these places. Where do you buy a sun visor like that? <laughs> well, it's easy. It's so, it's so much easier than like, oh, let me pick it up. No, it's just... Release. <laughs> Go on. Oh, no. I'm just... the camera right off. The airports have a tendency of turning into grueling experiences, but at some point, and with a certain mindset, they can become a home away from home. A playground of some sorts. Besides, we need to lower our expectations a bit if we wish to feel any sort of normalcy in Oman, Ukraine. Or do we? Going. Oh, been the shopping. Sweets market. Twenty dollars a sweet. Yeah. So this is what Ben Gurion looks like now during COVID. They have this fenced off. See, this whole thing's fenced off. When you arrive from an, up there, you're carted. They herd you to a back room where you do the COVID testing, and then you could leave the airport. Uh, all the car rentals upstairs over there are closed and you have to get rentals elsewhere. It's uh, it's I've tried that. It is a mess. The whole car rental thing. How many hours to kill? Six. <laughs> Until our flight is boarding. I'm not really in a rush. Uh, we can figure out where we're going to sleep tonight. <laughs> How about those benches? Do we have our um, sleeping pads? I actually have one. We have a blanket and I have a pillow. We have set up for one person. <laughs> All right, let's get comfortable. Now I'm gonna eat proper. 10 p.m. We've got the night to kill.
looks like. This is what Oman looks like on steroids. Wow. People just piling in with their uh, carriages and carriages full of stuff. Everything you possibly need for the next two months. And you never know if Israel will let you back in, so you might just move, if you know what I'm saying. Citizenship. All right, so we finally checked in. Now we're in the line for the oversized luggage because they don't want to put this with the regular luggage because it has straps. Ben Gurion. This is what travel looks like. And it's archaic, too. This is completely archaic. The entire system here, you have to wait. You can't just drop it off somewhere. You have to wait, Get it put it through the machine, get it cleared, and then down over there by the elevator, actually put it on the cart. So you see it on the cart. Ben Gurion. <laughs> All right, well, made it through that atrocity. Into this wonderful world. The, uh, oh, such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, airport. <clears throat> not. I mean, it's decent, but it's nothing major. Yeah, nothing great home. The though. system in this airport is atrocious. It's so bad, it's unbelievable. But nothing new. Israelis have no concept of operations, infrastructure. Airplane. I haven't been on such an old airplane in a while. Everything's just old. Everything is just old. <sighs> sardines. <sighs> Sitting in like sardines. Yeah, the whole thing is, is that if you don't have the vaccine certificate, then you have to download the app and the app you have to consent to location and once you activate it you have 70 minutes to get to your place where you're staying quarantined go figure obviously that's not going to take place all right so we are in our taxi to the city of Umar 235 kilometers to go it's 9 45 a.m not bad which means it's the same time zone as And we should arrive by 12.30, two and a half hours. If all goes well, if we don't hit traffic. Sometimes there's traffic exiting, leaving Kiev. Massive, massive construction going on here with no end in sight. Building hotel after hotel. Ushkina. Bushkina. They opened up a, an arcade game. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Looks like the windows are closed. There's like two or three arcade machines in there. Yep, and the chaos ensues. Wonder what they do all day? <laughs> That's what they do all day. Oh Can I say that this walking feels really good after the car and the train? The plane? Yeah, it's good. You have SIM card? Simcard? Yeah. Yeah, what, what are these? Minutes? Minute is the e internet. Just trying to understand what the difference is. 1570. At the 70 minute minutes? Uh, 70 minutes. Uh, 70 minutes. Yeah. Ah. You speak English? What's the difference? More minutes? Uh, more di more uh, data? The internet. Internet. Talking. Talking. Yeah. Both. What if I want both? Internet. Ah, internet. Uh, I need two. Please. Two. Three. Only one. Only one. Uh, only one? Mm -hmm. uh, you take uh, Shkalim or uh, Grivne. Only or Shkalim? Grivne? Visa. Uh, Grivne. Shkalim. No Shkalim. So I have to change. Uh, change. Here's a ATM. No. Okay. I'll come back. Okay. Thank you. So we have to change for some. Yeah, so I'm guessing the talk comes with internet. The other one is only internet. It's weird, but it's cheap. 150 grid is a few dollars. That's like, I don't know. I think the ratio is 30 to one. So it might be like five, six, seven, eight dollars. That's fair. Let's check Google for what the actual currency is now. And yeah, it's turning into, Oman in general is turning into a town. More infrastructure, more businesses. A lot of the restaurants down there didn't exist two years ago. 
and they're turning into, we're talking about permanent restaurants that are here all year long. There are approximately, if I remember correctly, about 40 families that live here, Jewish families. There's a cheder, there's a school. The scene is changing a bit. It's turning into not only a place that people come during the year, it's turning into a hotspot for Jews. And I was talking to one of the guys here, why is it so different? A lot of the guys that move here are Geula Meisharim types, and they are moving here because of the freedom. Those same guys that live in Geula or Meisharim come here, and it's acceptable to wear black jeans or a polo t-shirt, or a polo shirt, or you know, go to the gym and, and work out, or have a smartphone. So certain things that are very frowned upon in the, in the ultra, ultra, Orthodox communities of Israel, people feel a little bit of that relief there. So they're still Hasidim, they're still ultra Orthodox Hasidim. It's just that there's a little bit of a lighter feel to it. It's not so extreme. And this is what's happening here. This is why people are moving here. And there's a lot of young kids too. They're just enjoying life more, in a sense. So it's interesting that Uman is providing that for them. You want a Yarmarka? Yarmar. Yarmarka. Yarmarka. <laughs> Burgers bar. And if you come, you gotta check out Boom Bagel right over there. Pizza the best. We the best pizza. Pizza the best. Yeah, Boom Bagel is a really cute place. They didn't slack on the interior whatsoever. I mean, look at this place. Absolutely beautiful. When did you live in Muncie? I lived there five years ago. And then you moved to Odessa? And then I moved to Israel to go to the army and maybe didn't take me and then I moved to Odessa. They didn't, didn't accept you in uh, Yeshiva? They didn't expect me in army. Oh, army. in army. Yeah. Wow. Why? So this little place here no. has um, one. They have one. SIM cards. But, they have uh, one. But they only take it in there. Uh, I don't have, I only have Shkalim. Oh, this is expensive. And we need two. 150 uh, rib. You want to you want to buy a cigarette for all, like they should. They should always work. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Got ourselves a. Oh, you can give us a danzi. Yeah, yeah. I got ourselves a taxi who's just going to drive us around. It's the easiest. If you have someone who speaks the language and they won't rip you off, it's affordable to have them just drive you around town to any place that you need. This is the Lomo Hotel. I think we're going to find out how much a week over here costs because it's worth the $14 more that it costs than where we are. I've never seen a grocery like this. This is. I wanted to go to Italy, and I said, oh, I can't go to Italy. This is some serious shopping. Changing the way people experience Oman. Exactly. We're changing the way people do this. Also, we did see Yeah. We made sure. Book Oman. Book Oman. Book Oman. Book Oman. Book Changing the game. Even the locals have never seen a store like this. This is like big news. And it, it recently opened. I think maybe, I don't know, this month or a month ago. So this is like evergreen. Even nicer. It's a beautiful place. It's about $50 a night for a couple or $45 a night for a single. Compared to American pricing, that's great. For here in Oman, it's, it's a bit costly. So I wanted to stay here for 10 days. We're looking at about 500 bucks. Um, it's, not, it's not horrible. It's about um, $150 more than the other place. Very nice. Serious hotel. This Why is like a, this is a four or five star hotel. Yeah. Not five, maybe Not four. Four so let me see what the bathroom looks like. Stand up shower. Okay, let's go check the palace and I'll have to make a decision. Same For ten days, I'm definitely gonna leave Naomi. <laughs> you know, yeah. I can't. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm coming to Oman ten years. Oh, what kind of room is this? It's a different room? It's not another room. Is cool. Nice. Yeah. This is more expensive. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is more expensive. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and done through the same. It looks a drop bigger, but other than that, it's about the same. Yeah, the same thing. Um, it's very nice. Very nice beds. The exodus is not merely a departure from one's home or hotel room. It can be the departure of emotional, spiritual, or intellectual spaces that have either depleted or garnished negativity. But for now, let's just deal with what's right in front of us. Oh, I love you. Oh, you see, you put the, the, the key in here and it turns the lights on. And when you leave, you need to take it, so it forces you to shut the light off. You realize that? Now you understand, right? <gasps> Look at this. Whoa. This a TV? I don't even think the other room had a TV. It's very nice. I would say maybe four star. And for it's totally worth it. a couple extra shekels, it's definitely worth it. Oh, look it. how big it is, that space. All right, so the good news is, by being here, I was able to get to the bottom, more or less, of who I need to speak to in order to make this Payechala co collaboration work. So I'm speaking to all the key players, and um, I think we may be able to make something work. Payechala's pricing is so strong that he could actually compete with all the big players in Ukraine. Forget about Oman, Odessa, Kiev, for airport transports. We, Book Oman could help him achieve that, if you will. If we iron out the right collaboration, we can not only provide like a high-end customer service when it comes to booking a vehicle of any type, we could help him grow exponentially. He's very local-based. Right, he's not digitally inclined, so he doesn't really think in that capacity. When I look at his infrastructure and his resources, and I compare it to a handful of companies that I've spoken to who said they can't touch his pricing, that makes me think, wait a second, you're onto something. How do we scale you, Bokoman? That's how we scale you. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov taught that all new beginnings require that you unlock a new door. But before we do, let's address the elephant in the room. What is Oman? What is Oman Rosh Hashanah? And what is Book Oman? Oman is a city located in the Cherkasy Oblast province in central Ukraine. It is where Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, the great-grandson of the Baal Shem Tov, is buried. Rabbi Nachman was the founder of the Hasidic Breslov movement, whereby myself and so many others have found true connection to our spiritual selves. Rosh Hashanah is the Jewish New Year holiday, upon which tens of thousands of Jews, mainly Breslov or Hasidim, traveled to Uman to be by the gravesite of Rabbi Nachman. The reason we do so is plentiful, as I'll get into a bit later, but amongst the common ones are the expressions of the Rebbe himself, where he said, and I quote, if someone comes to my grave, gives a coin to charity, and says 10 Psalms, known as the Tikkun HaKlali, I will pull him out of the depths of hell. It makes no difference what he did until that day, but from that day on, he must take upon himself not to return to his foolish ways." End quote. Needless to say, there's an intense spiritual fire that burns strong in Oman, especially on Rosh Hashanah, inspiring many to live better lives and return for more. But the culmination of this phenomenon and my pilgrimage over the past 10 years has gotten us to this point, and now I'm ready to delve deeper. Meet Book Oman a high-tech travel agency that is designed to make this difficult journey a tiny bit easier and a tiny bit more humane. But in order to establish ourselves in this landscape with a new company and fresh motivation, we will need to get to know some people and make things happen. And when I say things, I mean business. Let's get into it. Good morning from beautiful Oman City. We're going to go we're gonna get some shit done today. We're gonna go look at a flat that is located on top of the apartment or in the same building. I saw pictures of one of the flats there, very beautiful. And we're gonna see if there's some others. All 
right, so we we looked at a, a, a apartment. It was a studio apartment. The thing is, it's on the third floor. His asking price was eight hundred dollars a month. I think he's trying to they're trying to rip us off because we're American. I already know of another apartment that has a full one bedroom for seven hundred dollars on the first floor, and there's no elevators in these buildings. So third floor means you're walking up stairs all the time. Third floor studio eight hundred dollars when I could get a one bedroom first floor for seven hundred. I don't think so. Then he was trying to you know hoggle like uh, how much you know what's your offer I said slow down we'll be here for a week we're gonna check out multiple places and we'll get back to him either way we could help him put his listing put his apartment on Bokoman so we'll see what happens boom bagel time to do some work sign a contract it's for the apartment he's got it ready dude wanted cash money young money usd only hey yeah i was gonna send a wire they don't want local currency they want us dollars they're stacking that cash in a in a safe let's be real they're not using that money so we gotta hit something up we know where to go we know what's up he wants us dollars sure oh this is it right here this is <clears throat> wells fargo charged five dollars five us dollars for the eight. yeah Cheers. Done closing on the apartment. Now the owner of the apartment is all excited, so he wants to he wants to drive us to the furniture store. We need some furniture for the office. He insisted that we don't take a taxi and that he drive us. I won't say no. I was gonna put my um, seatbelt on. He told me no, no need. This is Ukraine. You don't wear seatbelts here. <laughs> This is not bad. Again, I don't know about this color, but this style is... Style is nice. Not horrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more of a... Because it has this whole piece. One of the things I like about it is that this is going to be the end, the side facing the conference table. So it's closed off. She said... She says that such color can be very similar to the floor, so it can be like... Not very I know. Good. Yes. But the question is if she can do it in a different color. No, 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 so, well, that's also the halfway decent price. We're looking for stuff that's in the, between 10 and 15,000 grid max. Okay, so it's fine right um, with this one's a little nice. Well, this I, I feel a little weird. Yeah. Um, well, maybe not. Wow, what is yeah. that? <laughs> 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 uh -huh. I will fall asleep. <laughs> I am tired. Lay on this. No. Lay on it. What do you think? No. No? Working hard. Eating good. One thousand, one thousand, one thousand. Oh, first of all, where do I, do they have? Where do I see the quality of these? Oh, they show me it's a glossy like this. Like it has a gloss. I just forgot to say like this. It's laminated. With lamination. This is for the postcard. No, a sticker. No. The postcard is not shiny. Ten thousand English, ten thousand Hebrew. After that, they start charging. So a professional company won't sit there for three hours if you have an issue or if you delay. Yeah. The customer pays for that.
Wow. Charcoal. It's edible. Hi. So we were at the bank today. I was trying to take out $2,000 or about 50,000 grivna. We went to one bank and they didn't have that amount. The bank that we went to, I had earlier, earlier that day, I, I had already pulled out 2,000 US dollars. I came back later to pull out 2,000 US dollars, but in Grivna, about 50,000 Griv. They didn't have. Imagine this, Oman City, a pretty populated place. They have multiple banks in the city. It's not like a tiny place. They don't have 50,000 Griv, the equivalent of $2,000 in the bank. The way that people do it here is they order the money. So you come a day before, if you need to take out a large amount like that and then you come the next day or, or after the weekend to take out that kind of money mind-boggling in america i think banks have a minimum how much they have to have in the bank i don't know how much it is but there has to be some kind of minimum because if not you, you don't you're not even providing a service it's just interesting that you know every place is a bit different from 10 30 yesterday 10 30 in the morning until about 5 30 at night with a one hour break in the middle. It was about 700 and something grip, which is under $30. It's unbelievably cheap. You could just have a personal chauffeur, they drive you around and then you pay them. As long as they're not ripping you off fixed price, if you just let them run their meter, they'll drive you around for hours. Fraction of the cost of what it, what it is in Israel or America. I'm pregnant, I gotta eat. I got some macaroni and vegetables. <laughs> All of it was four dollars. You know what I love about GoPro? People are obviously shy on cam, so they avoid the camera, the, the the angle that I'm holding it at them. They don't realize how far, how wide the the lens is, right? Anyone who knows GoPro, especially SuperView, knows how wide it is. So they think they're out of the frame when they're avoiding it. Meanwhile, it's catching everything. So you can see, you can notice sometimes I'm walking, people will like turn slightly to try to not make eye contact and not be in the in the frame. Nope, we got you. Who owns this building here? It's like, so can he give us permission for this building? Yeah, he said, this, give me a sign, I'm a design that you want, I will, I will let you. This building right here is a very good spot. Okay, so you got it. Um, I would hang it over both floors. It's just for Rosh Hashanah, okay, and then we you take got it off. It. Okay, well, this is you got. I believe based in America, any country I've ever been to, mm -hmm. you see children engulfed in American. Like, You're saying it's interesting how American culture influences the pervades world. Pervades everything. The world. I mean, obviously they have local TV shows and local shows that the kids are into and cartoons and animated stuff. But, you know, there's two boys there that are wearing Spider-Man hats. Right. And Israel's obsessed with... Uh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> like so 2000s or even older. I don't know. It, just interesting. We got ourselves a park here. Let's check it out. I don't think I, I don't know if I ever walked into this park. That's so interesting. It's so right here. Yeah. I was explaining the other day when people, I like when people try to stay out of my frame, right? So like I hold the camera facing this way so the people to our left don't think they're on cam, but they are. It's super wide. Yeah, so this is the park. There's not really much to see. Kind of like an abandoned court of some sort. Maybe there was basketball there or something. I don't know. There's certainly nothing there now. Just some swings, some toys. I saw somebody doing some dips on this. People probably use it to work out a little bit. There used to be a cobblestone. And then they pave over it. And then all three layers get broken. Okay. The cars that never die. All right, so we're walking up to the entrance of this new park. We're about Looks to check intense. it out. It looks like a big line when to buy a ticket. When you see how many people come to these parks, you understand why Bukoman has potential to scale. I don't know if we're going to do We're talking about way more than just Rosh Hashanah and the Jews. 
this is a hot spot for travel. Since it's the weekend, it's this full. So um, we're gonna turn around and come back during the week when it's pretty empty. This idea that we were talking about on the balcony, about how we're a traveler type mentality and how we're not planning on having a big family and our values about the education system and right. the influence it has on the kid. Like, yes, you need to be educated, but it doesn't need to be completely formal. No, and it's just, it's really exciting and it's getting me going that we can live, that we most likely are going to live this free, free life. Yeah. There were, two, there were two big points that I was that I had mentioned was that first of all we have travelers mentality. Our traveling for us is fairly simple and easy. We we're easy the past going. Year and a half. We could pack up a backpack on the drop of a dime and leave. So we know we, and adjust to anywhere that we are. Yeah, we know we already have that, and, and it works out. Now, what was so big about going moving to Israel? Not as much living every day by day there. But that's being your home base, eventually having land, owning a piece of Israel that's ours and that's where we keep our stuff. But one of the hindrances of a, a lifestyle like this that people usually think of is children. Sharon's pregnant. You have a child on the way. What happens when you have a child? Can you move around? One of the reasons why yeah. <laughs> your average person can't and won't is because school, you know, the child has to be in school. So in that notion, this this idea that your kid has to be in school and you can't take them out and because- the pressure of that. Entire community pressure, that that's entire thing. Yes, that's it, community. I, I don't believe in that. I have no issue with my school getting some kind of hybrid education, homeschooling, learning online. Which you did. These you partially did homeschooling. Yeah, I did yes. homeschooling. That's my background. I wouldn't say I'm rebellious necessarily. I come from much more traditional background of every, you get your degrees, you go to school, it's important, you don't really miss sick days unless you have to, go to college, get your master's, and continue further than that. I have multiple degrees. I'm also a teacher, right? So you would think, I think it's so important for my child to go through the school system. Now I know it's benefits, and there's no saying that my child, our child won't necessarily ever go to a school system, but I'm very equipped to teach them at home and to subsidize whatever education they may not be getting or I feel like they may need. It's wonderful how we balance like that. Why Oman? My Kesher, my connection with Oman is many years old and it's never gonna go away because I'm a very grateful person. When I got into spirituality and then I relearned Judaism from a love and a Muna perspective, not from the stern perspective, I ended up in Oman, Rabbi Nachman's gravesite, and was exposed to happy Jews, happy ultra-Orthodox Jews, which is very different than what, what I grew up in. In any event, you know, I learned Hasidut, I learned the teachings, I learned how to be a happy and very very grateful person and all that stuff. One of the stuff, one of the reasons why I still come to Oman, on a completely personal note, it's not a whole theological debate whether prayer works or not. I come to Oman every single year. I know what I pray for. One of the things I do when I come to Oman is a, a hit bodhidut session where I talk to God in my own words, like I'm talking to a friend. I sit for a few hours and talk to Hashem and I pray for stuff. I pray for my life. You do gratitude, prayer, and all kinds of stuff. I've been coming for 10 years. Everything I've ever prayed for in Oman, I have achieved slash received. Not in the speed at which, uh, you know, I desired and not in the way in which I thought it'll come. But in retrospect, I can say that everything I've ever prayed for, I have received and continue to receive. So I can say the same from yeah? what I've prayed for when we came after we got married, all has come true. And that's within a year and a half already. Right, so you wanna know the significance? So I have a Kesher to Oman and Rabbi Nachman and spirituality that's not never going to go away. It doesn't matter how modern I am, how observant I am, all this other noise that surrounds it. I have a Muna, I have a connection, I pray, and my life is beautiful. It's that simple. So naturally, you want to give back. You want to share, right? And one of the ways that I always wanted to do that, and I knew there was a lot of opportunity in Oman to do stuff. I've wanted to do something in Oman. Maybe give people, I always said like, if, when, when I'm rolling in the dough, I could give people free tickets tickets to Oman, which is something that a lot of wealthy people do do. But I've I've played, I've toyed with a lot of different ideas on how you could get involved in Oman and just the experience and all 
all that stuff. Nothing ever came to fruition up until now because I never had someone who's local and it's very hard to do business in another country if you don't have a, a base or a basis. And Hashem made that happen too. <laughs> so a friend of a friend looking for an opportunity, needs a co-founder, needs a technical partner. That person, Sviki, lives in Oman. We linked up and next thing you know, book Oman. So this is like, in a sense, years in the making because it was inevitable that, that I would end up doing something in Oman to give back, if you will, or to be involved in, call it an adventure that changed my life and has so much significance in my life or shaped who I am and who I've become. So this is essentially the, the outcome of that. So that's why Oman, Ukraine. Zastava. The owner of Loma Hotel, where we're staying, is partners is part owner of this place too. Beautiful place. Would you just look at that little tiny boot? Ain't that cute? Ready to start another day. We got two days to go and there's a lot to do. We got our purple book of on cheers. Sign the contract, hand over the cash. And uh, it's official. I didn't even ask the Khatimas. That's not as book woman. Oh my. 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 Oh Doing these little COVID test booths, PCR, whatever, so we could fly. Final day. We're gonna wrap some things up today. One of the main things we gotta wrap up is uh, is the big sign. We got permission to hang the big sign on Yitzchak's building. I just don't have someone to measure and actually do the hanging. The print is pretty affordable. Um, we have to print it and and get it hung. We're gonna go pick up some promotional yeah, items. Nice Hopefully they printed well. Very. How's pink hair coming along? No. <laughs> so it happens when you show them a picture. I want this color, that color, the other color. Pink, motherfucker. Sure, they are happy to see us. I see a bunch of purple. I like purple. That's what took so long. These are the shirts. These are the shirts. Go to Rabbeinu and say. I think that's phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> Bukuman, here we go. Let's go. All right, on the phone with DMV for on hold for 41 minutes, waiting for someone to answer. I got to help out Sviki. Before we go out for our last meal, let's travel without some good food and a couple of chayans. Is that all? No, that's it for now. For now, yeah. For now. Wow. Time pocket. You know when you stay in the restaurant so long that they're kicking you out? 
Go to Uman and cry. Foxy, I'm in a situation like this. Zvicky, Heilige, Zvicky, you have changed my life. You have changed my life. Zvicky. Go to a man and cry at the battery. Hey, let's let's not be a gun. Hi, I'm a man. 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 Rabbi Nachman of Breslov emphasized joy and song so much, he used to say that one should always remember that joy is not merely incidental to your spiritual quest, it is vital. Or how about this one? Regarding song, he would say, the most direct means for attaching ourselves to God from this material world is through music and song. Even if you can't sing well, sing. Sing to yourself, sing in the privacy of your own home, but sing. Going to the hotel. I slept like a baby. How was the ride? Oh god, bumpy and lots of lights, lots of, lots of traffic lights. You know, whatever. Preggy Pregolinos. I don't feels know what she's all. talking about. I slept like a baby. Preggy Pregolinos. This baby incubator didn't sleep like a baby, okay? It's 5 a.m. in the airport. You think it's a little suspicious if I wear my glasses? Yes. Where are you going? Where is the gate? Go to. Go to my cry. Oh my god, you look like a murderer. Where's security? <laughs> security! Oh my god. Is this our boarding? Yeah. Let's go sit back down. All of a sudden, there's 500 people trying to board this plane, huh? Listen, we're not supposed to land till Friday. We should go back. I have a slight miscalculation. Slight miscalculation. One day off. It's fine. We thought we're landing Friday afternoon. Turns out we're landing Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Which means that hotels, car rentals, and pretty much everything mm. that we arrange is one Wrong. day off. Imagine that. That's how you relax in the airport, you know? Kick back, take it easy. Not everyone's cut out for this shit, you know? It's the airport life. You gotta be comfortable wherever you are. Here in Frankfurt, they're very anal about the masks, so I gotta wear this bullshit. My stunning thing is unacceptable. I had this whole announcement about medical mask that like really, you gotta love a country that takes it serious, you know? Um, Nobody gives a shit, you know what I mean? What do we got here? More lines? Oh, we love lines. Somebody's got to get their act together. She is he, he is who, who is me. Old Pond 101. I just sent that to my mom just to confuse her. Pretty cool, pretty cool airport. She is he, he is who, who is me. That's Hebrew for you. This is what dreams are made of. 
said this window is pure happiness? Yeah. Oh, me standing in front of it? Yeah. It's too bad there's a glass in between. The only thing right. that needs to be better is it and my me. You can just take, and there's a whole line back there, so. It's like so close yet so far. I know. So look, there's like good pizzas of pretzels. I want a pretzel. Mm. Pretzel's not negotiable. Cheese danish. A croissant. Oh, look at that hat. Look, look at the little baker Look at the little fresh puree. Oh, he's in Paris. Da, 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 da. Cheese danish. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's just go for it. Let's do it. Oh, fucking cake. I didn't even get your cheese. <laughs> wow. What are you so happy about? I'm confused. So we got on the plane and we read that our flight uh, row is 22. So we think we have to walk 22 rows back. No, we're in business class. Purple book on um, purple seats, book on um, goodie bag. Yeah, a little goodie bag. But Team USA, go Olympics. Oh, toothbrush and toothpaste. Oh my God, patriotic. Look at this. I'm at. For those who don't know, Sharon's a huge. I Oh, America, okay. America. Uh, earplugs, promotion code for in-flight stuff. <gasps> Socks. <gasps> Socks. Moisturizer and lip balm. Nice. Oh, I wonder to see what color your socks are. Their socks are blue and red. Oh my God, I can totally put these on instead of my white socks. in Tinek Era Kodesh. We don't have a key to Sharon's parents' house. Ouch. Forgot to bring you from Israel. But we weren't supposed to be here now. Yeah, we never planned on coming here to begin with. Somehow we ended up in the U.S. a day early. We thought we'll be here on Friday. Go straight to the hotel. Anyway, so yeah, got an outlet. Hopefully the uh, internet works out here. Get some work done while we wait. One of the perks of being a digital nomad is that as long as you have Wi-Fi and an outlet, you could carry on with work. I'm so happy. I'm gonna go meet my best friend. <laughs> this is my best friend. His name is Pencil so, Wow. This so, is, uh, so happy okay. to. I'm so humble to brag. Pencil is gonna be the star of the show. Uh -huh. I'm making a documentary, Pencil. About... Thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Bad boy. Mm. Dirty dancers. This is what we come to America oh, for. Got... Dirty food. Another day, another dawn. Today's the day that. We get to do what we came for, which is visit my son. But before we do, we got to go get a car rental. We booked a car through Turo and it was supposed to be available at 5 a.m. today. The guy messages us that the person who returned the car on the last rental broke the bumper, blew out the tire and put some off-brand tire replacement, a couple other issues. So he's not sure if it's safe for us to drive. If not, we're going to have to figure out a replacement. Let's go have fun. So we managed to work out our issues with Toro, and we got a replacement car. Little tiny bug. The problem is, it's a BMW 3 Series, which is really small, very small. And uh, whatever, we'll make the best of it. Thank you, Hashem, right? We got the move. Tell us about this. Marine. Tell us about this. Please pause. Marine. Where are we Happy going? Happy Father's Day. My daddy is so special. He's brave and strong and smart. That is why I love him with all my little heart. Happy Father's Day. Love, Nelly. Hashtag number one dad. Dear daddy, you was attack. You always, always attack. You always take me some we're fun. Daddy, can you get me hoverboard? Love, Nelly. Yeah, that's what it says, hoverboard? Hoverboard, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's great, right? <laughs> right? That's great. And then there's cufflinks on the bottom. Oh, there's cufflinks in here. Oh, that's so sweet. Custom made cufflinks? Yeah, I found them. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Can I take them out and show you? Sure. I designed this one. Get <laughs> sometimes because he's so tall. Man, what? Crack this glass. Yeah, we'll have to fix it. But look, 
Oh, that's glass. I think this is phenomenal. Somehow kids always happen. find a way to request something. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Can you get me a hoverboard? <laughs> to, to help you celebrate Father's Day better. Uh, nice. Kids are lovable. Yeah. You ready to have another you know one? You know I was asking you for are one? You? Then I'll give it to you, Daddy. I'm not having another one. I'm having one. You know, your first one? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, I was saying. I want to know, how do you feel about being a big brother? Okay. What? You never before were a brother. Mm, you want, I know. So you want to never be a brother? Just always just want to know in your family? Or you want to be a brother? No. I want to have a brother or sister. Not sister so much, but mostly brother. I know, but I want it to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> one of us is going to be right. Only one of us can be right. And so... Um, my Who's going to pray to God better? Cousins can... According to Yechever, it's not about... Prayer. <laughs> Daddy, my aunt Hashtag Chevy told me that you climber. that you told her one day. Chevy told my you aunt, that I told Chevy what? That he, that Sharon's having a baby, and then her son. Well, Sharon may have told her outside of karate. No. No, we, you weren't pregnant then. I was pregnant, but we didn't tell anybody then. Hmm. Even me. No, but Chevy. I knew it. We once. never said anything to Chevy. Nobody said anything and to Chevy. Did, now that she know my aunt Chevy from that was right there. Yeah, your mother, your mother told, told her. her. You silly McNaller boy. Because you, you told silly. your mom when you weren't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, he says okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, all right, that was me. And then when you walk, you hold it like this. I know. And then you have to hold it up. There we go. Hi, me. You're you? I am. You're, you're learning how to be a vlogger? Um, kind of. Daddy, I love you. I love you too. Halfway around the world for this. So we got Hava Java. This is gonna cost Hava Java though. Let me tell you I something. This is for you, and I want to give you a sister. If I, if I was around. vlogging, if I've been vlogging for the past year, this mask, well, not this one, but my last one, went yeah. all over the world. You mean as in it travels Ooh, all over the world? Yeah. Got if I would take pictures in every airport and every place, it would be great advertisement, but um, yeah. too bad. And these are good masks, too. Wow. So these are great. He's coming yeah. camping, yeah. These are the best masks. You're going to Maryland before Chavez? I was going to say, we're going to Maryland. Made life easy. I'd say we're going here. No, we're just going to Maryland. See you next week. First of all, there is time to go to Maryland. Well, maybe not with Traffic, but that's what happens when you spend the day in the car. What's up? Say hi. Hi. We at the hotel motel holiday. We at the hotel motel holiday. She liked that Gucci stuff. We checking Daddy. in for the weekend. Weekend. We be up hot. Driving without seatbelts. Driving without seatbelts. Doing illegal stuff, it's so much fun. Um, that's not illegal in the driveway. Yes, I don't know. So in the tiny, the tiny parking spot? Yes, sir, maybe, For, sir. I don't know, sir. That might know? be our entrance, sir. That looks like a side entrance, sir. Sir, everything is, sir. Yes, sir. sir. No, sir. sir. Maybe, sir. Maybe, sir. When, oh, sir. Thing. How, sir. Sir. Let's use this backup cam. Let's, let's use technology, all right? Yeah, let's, let's use let's, technology. All right, here we go. Park. Hi. You ready? Go back up. Daddy will put it on film. Do it. Just do it. Can Just do it. Here. Do yeah. it. <laughs> you got this. Oh, oh okay. yeah. That's how we treat a nice rental. Oh, uh, can I have it? Just point it up a little bit so I can. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> that was the popcorn, huh? That was the party last night. Good stuff. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Was on all night. Um, this morning, your iPad was still playing. You had headphones on. Who, me? Yeah, you. You took your headphones off? <laughs> Pajamas, huh? The door open. Okay. Four, three, two, one. I'm getting no it. Oh, honey, it's fully charged. Oh, sit back normally. Get back in the
this kind of shirt, just different colors. You like it? It's a champion shirt. Wait, so you're saying this t-shirt is weird? Yeah. So if I buy it, I'm weird? No. Then what are you saying? You so said pe people that think that, that looks, looks cool and looks nice, fancy, are weird. So people who think something like this looks cool. And fancy and nice. Are weird. It's weird. Do you know this type of people? No. <laughs> <laughs> like I could buy these in a, another color, but... What, this you just bought? Yeah, it's fraternity. Oh, these pants you just bought. These pants are fraternity, cool. see? They like yeah. fit me. That's really cool. Instead of having the zipper open down here, it has this like stretchy thing that goes up high. That's phenomenal. I got a few t-shirts. Of course, they don't have pants my size, as usual. Someone had a good night. Another day in the life of a human being. The mornings here in America are very hectic because when you do business internationally, I have workers in the Philippines, India, Ukraine, and I'm typically in Israel. The time zone difference is very little. So when we wake up in Israel, we're ahead of the game. You're on a closer time zone to all the workers and the Americans are still sleeping. So you're ahead of the game. You feel like you're on top of it. When you're in the US and you wake up at 8 a.m., 7, 8, 9 a.m., you already have dozens of messages from people around the world who wake up earlier than you. There's this catch up game. I don't really like it. I like being ahead of the game. Good morning, Angel. Morning. How'd you sleep? You slept well? Yeah. I love you. Love you too. He loves me too. That's all I need. Now I'm gonna have a good day. Somehow he convinced me to play Age of Empires during work. All right, here you go. What are you gonna do? You have to be super creative. We have villagers here. What do you want them to do? Um, here. You want them to walk here? No, I want those. I want that guy. This horse? Yeah. We gotta work on the Book Oman sign. We're gonna hang a huge banner on Pushkama. We're gonna figure out if I should design this myself or should just give it to one of my designers. See, I always have to make these choices between do I do this or do I give it to someone? Do I spend, is my time valuable here? Who's ready to rumble? As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Who's ready for a road trip? Yeah. Good vibes. Are you ready for a road trip? Good vibes? Not my name. It just is no my shirt. I think your name is Good Vibes. <laughs> We finally made it to New Jersey City. <laughs> so hot out, no? All right, we got everything we need for camping. Got the bear, got the gun. All right, now we just need a cooler and some ice and good to go. Who wants pizza, Matanel? I want pizza. Road trip, camping road trip in the 85 degree humidity. I took it's night, what am I saying? It's 94 fucking degrees. Ooh, they made it spicy. 
I taught him how to do it. I think it's like spice. I said, yeah, I'll throw some cayenne pepper or some shit on there. I don't know. going on. I think officially they want you to check in and right. they give you a tag. Right, sure. so it's an, oh, our pants are still there. Well, everyone's showing up at the same time. They said go camping, they said. Fun, they said. It's a pregnant woman. Real nice. Way. Real nice. All right. Hey, they already see what kind of crowd they're dealing with. The Machna Yehuda figured it out. <laughs> Camp Shelva <laughs> got this under control. <laughs> Camp Maragdim. Vice Yaakov is on the Daddy, look. Boom. Looks dangerous. Watch your back. All right, we got legit. We one hour passed, we got logistics for the cars now. <laughs> the yeah, fucking yeah. bugs here are horrible. It's horrible. It's a disaster. It's very hard. But um, but look at this place. The like bugs didn't exist. Get some good protein too. Just open your mouth and eat them. <laughs> Just eat them. That's what we have to do. So All right, what are we doing six. here? It's not six. It's not six. People, people move shit around. Six. That kid, the guy over there, the two guys. Feel buggy, Pinchas? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't feel buggy. Go camping, right, so, they said. It'll be fun. You know, you know why the bugs well, are here from the. Oh, we're supposed to pick this up. All right, let's go. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, no, they didn't us. tell you about this, by the way. <laughs> yeah. They didn't mention this is the worst week of the year. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you when he, like when he arrived, I was like, oh, the bugs are terrible here. No, he's, I, like, he's like, stop I didn't realize that. I'm sorry, but I'm apologizing. <laughs> are you still on? Am I still on? I'm apologizing to you right now. Down, this is man. terrible. All right, where am I? Which way? Just the foot. I one. just ate about six <laughs> of these bugs. That's no, a no, record. No. That's a record, I want to tell you. Go. Got one in the eye, one in the eye. I, I was hungry, got to get in here, but I feel like I just ate I don't want to sweat. Yo, actually, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? That, like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to help out. What do you okay. want? Move this one over here, just sit over there. The Isn't somebody it? yelling right now? <laughs> All right, sweetie, here, I need a help. Uh, ready for the dish, ready for the dish. Okay. Okay. So now we can put the camp. Okay. Together. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So here's what's going on, guys. So I'm just gonna take you uh, around this campsite so they get to see bugs. This guy over she here. Wants to know if you're starting a YouTube bugger, channel. She wants to know. So you can be a fan of us. Here you can follow us. Life away. Follow us. Like us. Subscribe follow to us. Follow us on Twitter. At and this. At that. At this. As soon as you're done doing what? that, unsubscribe, unfollow, unlike, because this is as far uh, as we and, go. And, and Rebecca, also, Healthy, unfuck yeah. yourself. <laughs> She doesn't know how to drive. That's a problem. She has three kids in her car. That's a big problem. She is pregnant, so she ain't doing shit today or tomorrow. Why? Is she? No, they want to put it right. Is she doing something? I mean, things and stuff. All right, so she's doing something. Okay, I can get used to this. I got the bugs under control. They're not fucking with me anymore. I'll do this all day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. An hour later. Five falls asleep. Yeah. So we're setting up the fires. There should be another canopy coming, but in case it rains, we need it to cover the table. Oh, look at them helping out. That's so nice.
Come on. You're lacking trust. There you go. <laughs> you said I wasn't doing anything, Dan. I'm doing it. Put it what down. Wait, this one is taller. Oh, one more? Where's the confusion? Down there or up here? Bro, they're taking trees down. <laughs> it's what is Tell them us geek. Think, Tell them us geek if she has better shit to do. Does. Who has a lighter, guys? Don't need a lighter. Huh? Not, I have. Did you hear me? Yo, I come well equipped. Sure you do. Come well on, equipped. Like, yeah. yeah. Come on. Boy, yeah. well you can, bro. Uh, you didn't feel it. The flies. I by the way, good. as soon as you stop, these Once. motherfuckers just hang out way, on your body. Just so you, know. First thing is, hey, you didn't screw it closed. Bro, are we having a tissue crisis? Oh gosh, women having a tissue crisis, not good. Usually I get some blood taken from me by mosquitoes, but here there's so many, I may not have any blood in that house. These are not mosquitoes. They don't bite, these are pesty little fuckers. The flies here are horrible, unbelievably bad. I'm hoping they're gonna go away when the night comes. Otherwise it's gonna be a horrible experience. If this is the experience the entire time, it's gonna be a problem. Wow. Go camping in August, huh? Jesus, we were laughing. We said when Ganeshi shows up, she's just gonna see a beautiful setup. She's gonna show up after all the flies are gone. She'll just be like, wow, look at this beauty. She's not gonna know about all the perils we went through. He's bringing wood and then he's scratching us off. I was like, one is that bird is good. Two is, how do you expect to fill up the... <laughs> if that's the strategy to yeah. clean the bark, I yeah. mean, we're not filling up anytime soon. Good job. What's this nerve gun? What? It's a big gun right there. Don't point at people. <laughs> Nothing in it. Finger off the trigger. I never was a guy with steady hands. Hey, boy. How's it going on? Sleeping Yo. on the hill? Oh, Setting well. up Yo. on the hill? Where should I Yo. set up? Yo, Nate. Not here, huh? Nate. <laughs> You'll be okay. You'll live. Okay. Okay. Woo. Got skills. One man band here. Yeah, now he, out here for real. now he wishes he got the more expensive band. We out here for real, we out here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Straight as a needle. Oh, yes! This is where I'm gonna fall. See, this exactly is dangerous when you drink. I think we should turn this around. Huh? Turn it around. Turn around. Make the entrance there, yeah, yeah. There, entrance there. No, the entrance there. Let's turn it. What, that way? No, no, this way. Why? Because I have a hole here. Yeah. Are we the only ones that decide to camp over there? Well, why don't you guys join the club over here, y'all? Wow. Yeah, join. Come on. This is why, what is this, a festival? Yeah, fuck yeah. We're so fucking tonight. Why doesn't tonight. somebody go over there? You delete that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you delete that shit now. <laughs> All right, looking good. Mattresses up in the building. My boat sickers. Hello, be the chunks. Be the kiggle. You know, they say go camping and you get crumble cake and potato kiggle. Mmm, mean. It's supposed to be like this round Follow, check it out, follow the bunker. But it's Gala. so good, tasty. Okay, sure. So this is a kind of, but it's a designer. Yeah, I love it. Mm. Okay, preparing for war. I see. Hey! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's home, you know. What's up, Melfi? What up, O? Hello! Hello! <laughs> Wait, oh, so you didn't clean it before you yeah. put it away last time? <laughs> okay. No, <laughs> I'm a piece of shit. She says she doesn't remember. I said I can remind her, but it gets painful when I remind her. I always said Pinkles was Chester the molester. <laughs> Sorry, you left your <laughs> paper towel. <laughs> Smells like shit, too. <laughs> can I know what you did last week when you were getting <laughs> Smells like shit. When you're done, you can clean mine, too. <laughs> Guys, all right, so three hours passed. How's it going? Give me a second, because I'm basically sweating. <laughs> So, All right. you're gonna light this, but I feel like it needs gas in oh, order yeah, for it to- Yeah, I'm gonna put the gas on and see what happens. But right away, because once it shoots a lot of gas- No, okay. I'll put it on very low. That's very it. low, okay. Here. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's burning! Yeah. Ooh, it's burning! Right, get the glass, get the glass. Glass. Get the glass piece, dude. Glass. Yeah, yeah, put it on. Okay. What is this? Let's cover it. Oh, it's a light! I'm gonna put it there. Oh, it's a light, guys! All right, now you okay. turn this bitch turn up. Turn this off, let's see how lit it gets. It's oh. nice and cool. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Yeah. Oh my God! They say that some of the most genuine moments aren't caught on camera. I'm inclined to agree. 
Shabbat Shalom. This side, or, do you want to or the here? other side? I don't know. You. You're picking. It's not gonna stick on the wood, though. This nah. Is what about this? Is there an option for nail? You gotta, no, you gotta put some sticky glue some on. Uh, some stick on super glue on this. It'll work. I want to hear a speech on Spinoza. That's what we're all here. Uh-huh. <laughs> Buddha Spinoza. That's what we're all hoping for. <laughs> that Buddha Spinoza. I think he had to say that was just as. You told me, I remember sitting in front of your house in Irman that I should start this, and I started a week later. Yeah, man. Go for it. All right, let's go. Sunday fun day for more protein. Ready to eat some more protein on a Sunday fun day? <laughs> I like being chauffeured around, so I have no objections to you know going in your car. What are you saying? You little shitty little critter. Hey. See me there. I'm a peer pressure guy. If my friends are smoking, I'm smoking, you know what I'm saying? You gotta let them know. What's, that, what's happening, cuz? Everything good, everything good. You already know we out here on August 28, 2021. We're doing it. Woo! Oh, it's good. Oh. Ah. Give me something worth putting in the documentary. You know, sometimes the video camera stands there for an hour just to get one shot. Yeah. Steak, oh my god, talk about it, please. Pay oh, this is nothing. You see the ash. Let me show you your steak before. Let me burn this paper towel real quick. <laughs> oh, what's here? Here's the steak. <laughs> All right, today's the day that we buy COVID insurance for travel in Ukraine, download the app for self isolation in Ukraine. Um, there's just a lot of preparation. Tomorrow, we got to take the COVID test. I'm also monitoring the embassy website to see if they add any travel restrictions. That'll suck if they decide, for example, last minute that Americans need to be vaccinated in order to enter. That's a problem. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I am monitoring it nonetheless. We gotta go say our goodbyes to Makanel before we get on a plane tomorrow and we're off to Oman. And that one's going to Israel. What is it? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I got it. Is it red? No, you you wanted a blue one. Oh, it's you a want... really cool water bottle. How was school? How was the first day of school? Day. Tell me everything. I got my new. I got new shoes. I am let's see them, let's so see them. proud Whoa. of you. 
Oh, You're God. growing up so nicely and big and fast. Hi, you're the fear keeper. I was a school keeper. Two, actually. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Actually, pretty small. I know. I didn't think it was going to be so small. Yeah, but me. it'll I be. I think it's perfect size for him. It's no. perfect size for yes. him. Yes. Dad, you drink way more than that. Yeah, so Daddy's flying tomorrow to Oman and Sharon's flying to Israel. How was the first day? Good. This is my second day. How many kids are the same and how many are new? Oh, one yeah, that's new. a good question. One new. Just one new? Yeah. You know everybody? Yep. Whoa! Everyone from last year besides the one kid. I don't know why he went. So they basically praised it. There's 25. Wow. So there's 25 kids? Yeah. Where's your seat in the classroom? Front row, all the way, the front was this way, yeah. all the way by the wall, that side. Oh, so you're away like from the teacher? Kind of. But, but I'm... Oh, in the front. Yeah, but it's basically three rows. There's only three people in the front. Nice, Actually, nice. No. Oh. Six, yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. I love you. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. You know, this type of food is the best food for airplanes. Dry mango, some bars, some nuts. They're very compact. They don't smell. They don't spoil. We know Pinchas, you know, he packs salami sandwiches when he goes on airplanes. <laughs> Wraps in a foil and then has the TSA <laughs> take out every single first thing, <laughs> first thing that was maybe 15 sandwiches <laughs> and there were four. Uh, yep. Woo, I'm looking fly with that haircut. Today's the day that it happens. Today is the day that we fly. The hurricane or whatever storm we had here passed. Looking beautiful outside. Although a ton of roads are closed due to all the flooding. Sharon is sick and she's supposed to be going on a plane. She has a sinus and a cold. She always gets that when we fly or before we fly. She got it last time we um, when we flew to Jamaica for our wedding, she had the same thing. So we're gonna go to uh, CVS, see if they can give her something strong, all right? Like a Valium? <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or, you know, I stay push free. off the flight, right? It's always fun. Oh my God, sweetie, I'm gonna miss you for a whole week. Listen, we love each other so much. I love you. Our bond is so strong. See you off the And and Uman's really exciting. I'm I'm happy for you. I know all the work that you set up. No, it's good. It's good. Think about how much you're gonna love me. I'm gonna feel better when you come back. Looks like you're feeling ready and better already. Yeah. 1,500 oh. milligrams of Tylenol will do that to I people. didn't take the third one yet, I want Because it says to take two, maybe six now. Little man's gonna be a little bigger. Yeah. Little See, does it doesn't make mac and cheese. All right, let me finish packing your stuff. Manchi Pane. Thank you, Hashem, for all the safe travels that we've had. Bye. You know those like old folk, they wave until you don't see one iota of the car anymore. That's me right now. Bye. I love you too. Bye. Oh my gosh. It's going to be so crazy. Bye. Come wave. We're waving until we don't see the car anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh... Bye. You know, if I had two hands, I'd be waving. Bye. Bye. Still see the car. <laughs> oh gosh. You know a line comes next. Now that business is done, bitches come. <laughs> All right, so never a dull moment. Sharon left Rockland to head towards Jersey, driving through Mawa, and she starts getting notices and and warnings on the car, and the car starts jumping and acting funny. It says something like, drive train not at full power or something like that. So she had to pull over. Now we're trying to get in touch of the Turo owner, the car owner. She's on a time constraint, and I'm supposed to be packing to go to the airport in a few hours too. So welcome to our life. So I got an email from uh, Newark, from United Airlines, saying that flights might be delayed today because there are a lot of floods at Newark Airport. So Sharon's on the way there. On Google, it still says on time, but on the email it says that they're gonna resume flights this afternoon. So it's complete confusion. And we're also supposed to leave to the airport within the next two, three hours. So what do we do? We reminisce. Uh -huh. Shout out to Hopi, my sister, for introducing me to Stacy Arico at nine years old. All right, shit's about to get real. 
Shit, I just dropped it. This is a heavy pack. Anyway, as I was saying, shit's about to get real. Or as my good friend and long distance runner, Mutti Circus, the running adventurer says, it's crunch time. This though, this right here, this is one of the perils of living in another country where you don't have great commerce and you have to bring goods from the US. See this stick here is part of the bezel or bevel frame for my TV. I couldn't find it in Israel, but it's long. I can't put it in a suitcase, right? But it's got to get to Israel. And I'm going to Oman first, making a pit stop in Oman, right? Oman Roy Shashone. I got to carry that through the airport. The whole idea of a sling pack is that you don't have to carry anything, anything big. You have all your essentials right with you. And then almost every time you end up having to take something because you're always bringing stuff. You're always trying to get goods from here to there. Rock and roll. Looks like I'm geared up for the Appalachian Trail. Wow, thank you Hashem, the time has come. It's ready to make the journey. It's time to make the journey. Oman gives you optimal time to stop, reflect, and think about your life. Be grateful for your life, all the gratitude, everything and everything God gives you, all of that. And that usually happens a few days in. You get to Oman, it's overwhelming. All the people, the festival, the festivities, Shabbos, Yom Tov. But after a few days of no electronic, no routine, you just find yourself with an open channel to the core, spirituality, God, whatever you believe in, unicorns, don't matter. But whatever the fuck it is, that, that source, that energy, that thing we can't explain, becomes an open channel to it. And that could lead to a genuine conversation. It could lead to like really deep introspection. It could lead to a lot of great things. And that is what people experience there. Why don't you stay here? You're leaving your family for Yom Tev. You could go pray in the shul here, but you don't. You could talk to God from anywhere, but you don't, stupid motherfucker. The whole idea is that you go to a place that supports and promotes that shit, and then you end up doing it and you have those experiences. If you don't put yourself into the situations where you have those experiences, you don't have those experiences. That's Oman. Oman's a place where you have those experiences year after year after year. Where's this playboy at? Oh, and needless to say, that's my experience, right? I'm not telling you what you'll experience. As someone who's been going for close to or more than a decade, that's my experience. There's a lot of fun, a lot of festivities, a lot happening, a lot of different experiences, but one thing that is constant and that happens every time is one genuine, long, it's bodadut, personal prayer session with God. And for that alone, it's worth every second. As I've said, I personally have received everything I've ever prayed for in Oman. So why shouldn't I go? It's a simple investment to me. I don't have to convince you. You don't have the same experience. You don't believe. Don't give a shit. That's your life. My life is such. So to me, it's a simple investment. You go, you get into an environment where you can connect, you get into the mood, you get into the zone, you get into the groove, and guess what? You end up connecting, and boy, so rewarding. Wow, thank you, Hashem. All right, you ready, you ready, you ready? Oh, my God, my God, my so we can, oh, let's hold up. All right, you ready? I want. I need to go to Smithville. I don't hear excuses. Let's just go to Oman. You excited about this? I know, I'm just like, let's do it. I'm, I'm pumped up. I'm pumped up. You, can't, you can't see it, but I'm pumped up. <laughs> Where, <laughs> that way? That way is uh, Smith Smithville. Where right. do you need to go? Right to my house, Slotesburg. Oh, yeah. So the journey begins. The journey now we begins. go to Slotesburg to get picked up by the next no, go straight. Yeah, well, only there was a stop sign here. You don't follow the Lars? Yeah, apparently not, because we're going to, uh, what are we going to do with the COVID test? Oh, yeah, man, no, man, I don't know what you're talking I mean, about. Let me tell you something, we're investing in being the Nomad a long time. <laughs> let me tell you something. I know you live there, but it's like, I tell people I'm going now, people are like, what? So, what? This long? Like, everyone's reaction is like long. This. Yeah, because we're going to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, whatever. Oh, they don't get it, do they? Yeah, they don't make it right. Yeah, yeah, because I know who we are. One of the big questions. You're, you're religious. People ask all kinds of funny questions. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to do, though. There's a lot. We can go to Vajitchi. You want to go to Vajitchi? Hell no! <laughs> I, I said bitches. I said bitches. Oh, right here, here. bar bitches. Hell yeah. <laughs> bar bitches. Bar with bitches. So, but that's one of the misconceptions. People think like you have the spectrum, right? You have the people who think 
people go to Oma for bitches. Okay. And then you have the people. Which some are. Yeah, and then you have the people who think that people go to Oman if you're like ultra religious. Religious from <laughs> right. you're going to pray. They don't realize and that, that most people who go are just moderates and <laughs> they're just fucking chillers. Don't give a shit. Don't give a shit. They're just going to have a good time. Yeah. You don't have to go for bitches. You don't have to go for religion. You can just do whatever you want. Just go. <laughs> Yeah, blah, 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 nah, this is it. This is the last you sure about that cap? I told her she, that cap's come. The first who said he sees that thing in Yeah, I'm even a like I get like it. Yeah. Okay, I'm not What are we doing? You think 20,000 other people are asking what the fuck are they doing with their Every life? Every guy that leaves the Oman is like, wait, what? am I sure I want to do this? <laughs> Is this the right thing? Is this for me? Do I belong is this, to me? Yeah, is this, like, is this what I need to do? Is this what God wants? Really? Uh, really? Gotta go right in there. Can't get along without Talos. Clearly, call 040 is not. Call 040 is clearly not working. But he's calling. Keep calling. We had something. We said something that we're going to do, didn't we? Oh, remind me. Clean it. <laughs> How is she down here is fucking cleaning the handles of this? Because it's guys. sticky. Uh, some, someone came on it? I don't know what this is. What's your Corvette? Show us up. Yeah, well, this three trash coming up, so like, which one? Uh, <laughs> we talked about one or two I cigarettes. He comes in, he's like, heat it. Yo, we got six packs. I'm like, oh, okay, what about two coffees? Oh my god. And they said we quit. I'm smoking huh? not even one. Okay, so you know we're giving this for um, charity. Charity, let's go. <laughs> EWR parking, let's go. Grab my shit, take it out from me. Which Work for me. the fuck you think I am? This is where you put the phone down and you grab the thing and you keep walking. You don't know how to record, huh? Recording my belly button? <laughs> Shoal's not meant for talking. Plus, it's all, all, you're all the way in my face. <laughs> <laughs> yep, going to, uh, going to Germany. They only allow N95, so they won't even, allow, they won't even let you no. board the plane. You know what else they did in Germany? Killed six million people. How do we get N95? Oh, guess what? Vending machines. You thought vending machines really? sell sodas. You thought vending machines sell drinks. No. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Buy my germs, condoms. What am I gonna like? A swipe cater? The card ain't gonna swipe itself. <laughs> Wait, we have to swipe? Or cash? I got cash, brother. This is America. Ain't shit free. I got cash, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Whatever. Choose one of these numbers. 22. Got it. Fuck that. Oh my god. That's not, that's not this feels like a baby's ass. Got our N95s. All right, so what do we do? We, what did we get? We stole got seats, bro. We stole the empty row, bro. Just walked in like we're in every meet right now, and we just decided um, we're just gonna sit down and set up shop. So here we are, setting up shop. One of the perks of coming on one of the last you know you're one of the last, and you see empty seats, you can kind of claim it. Usually you won't get challenged. The stewardess won't even ask you because they don't see you switching. You never actually sat down to begin with. Yeah. But I like these flights that are not full. You have it, the difference between I'm having to sit like this. Yeah, so we got an extra seat right on the middle. Here, right here. The Holy difference shit. between sitting like this because and having someone else next to you and being able to do this is such a big difference. Oh, also the back. feet. On this versus this. Okay. We're talking about life and death. This is going to be good. N95 mask from Munich. Wondering what lounges look, smoking lounges look like in other airports. You know what I'm saying? No shame. Smoking lounge. There's one. Zero shame. America didn't even have smoking lounges. Five star smoking lounge. Unbelievable.
strongest arm wrestler in the world just walked into the Ukrainian airport. The strongest arm wrestler or burger eater? Not, not social. Is. is it really? No shit. <laughs> the Yash Kamamine. Oh, your brother. Kama. Got you got a ticket? For what? Smoking. You here? Yeah. Out here? They just got two guys just got arrested. Seriously? Got arrested. Took him now? So yeah. Now we have to wait for him? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Hell no, it's Ukraine, bro. It's over. Shabbos, he says? Bro, they raped you for 100 bucks. No, they told him 20 bucks in the beginning. I had no fucking. change. I had no fucking change. I'm standing there waiting. I mean, it turned into 100 bucks. Yo, let me give you went from 10 to 20. You want your passport? 100 bucks. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, so I think I was uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. That's how you go to Oman. Traveling to the Tzaddikim is hardly a new idea. Our sages allude to it in the Talmud where it is written, and I quote, In the time of the Holy Temple, the shofar was not heard on Shabbos except in the temple where the Sanhedrin sat. When the temple was destroyed, Rabban Yochanan ben Zakkai instituted the custom of sounding the shofar wherever a Beit Din convened. Thus, the custom of traveling to spend Rosh Hashanah with the Tzaddikim goes back thousands of years. Hello! Hello. Shalom Aleichem! Three SIM cards. Let me give Hello. this to them. Hi. Hi. This is my brother Nussi. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Marina. Marina. Nice to meet you. Here are the three SIM cards. Thank you. Okay, I was going to my backpack. You got good. it. Oh, okay. This is the office? Yeah. Welcome to my office, guys. <laughs> Pesci, nice. meet Marina. Uh, Mar Marina? Marina. Nice to meet you. This is, the, this is who you spoke to? This is who I spoke yes. to. Yes, thank you. What is this? Same card. My beautiful office. Let me get this on the... Uh, so do I change uh, Do I take my... What's it called out? Yeah. This is quiet this right now. Like on this level. It, it's a whole different ballgame. It's a whole different ballgame. Are you crazy? It's completely now? outside of Pushkana. So do, so do you even do. Right, but where you, where you can leave the chaos. You have the option of right. leaving the chaos, which we never have. This is fantastic. Oh, my God, come on. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Look at this is where we're staying, and this is come on, guys. You know, it smells like she's warming up. She's warming up the fish. Okay, listen, guys. This is freaking Oman 2021. Look at this. We got toothpaste, toothbrush, soap. All kinds of soap. All kinds of soap. We got a beautiful shower, shampoo in the house. Look at this. And I was worried that they took my by the airport and look what we have. Towels. This is one bedroom. I'm assuming I'm assuming there's one person per bedroom. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sleeping on the couch. Yeah, this couch yeah. opens up. Oh, you're, okay. Yeah, nice. Thank you. And now we got, oh, your Tvila is already here. Your Tvila is here? The towels are Tvila. Wow, this is something. This is absolutely fantastic. See, that was good. I'm glad it's on camera. Good job. Yeah. Oh, Watch your O's. Oh, God damn it. Oh, you see, you see that? On. You see that? How Bro. more perfect can I get? Hard. Fuck. <laughs> it shouldn't be so hard. Good look, fucking ball, goddamn. Yeah, the hardest song. I was never more confident on a ball than. Maria, to bury yourself. Someone told them that we're Jewish. Oh my god. <laughs>
got the books. There you go. They have a book called uh, Breathe. 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 Yeah, I'm looking for the book called Breathe. Uh, I got just the right book for you, huh? Mm -hmm. So here, this book tells you a lot about the presidents, the prime ministers of your crate. The history, there's so much history, so rich, so rich of history over here. So this is like from um, Wonderland and Disney. Is it really? Um, I don't know what that says, but sure it says something. This is like Rabbi Nachman's chair. Now we reach this is Japan. Japan. This is where the Buddhas are. Now you can sit up there and meditate right in the middle. Look at all the fish! Look at all the fishies! They're looking for the casino, the fish, they'll, they'll have what to serve with the meal. Mm -hmm. Get to touch them. Yeah, touch them? They want to see, they want to get some stuff. Yeah, they want to eat your finger off. No, I ain't your finger off. Until, like, I come home, two fingers, I'm busy. What happened? No, I, I said I'm not gonna eat my fingers, but they did. No, uh, nothing's not gonna stop you. <laughs> so I let my friends make their own decisions. You know? <laughs> they need to experience everything on their own. Do you want to be my son? Never! This last lady's gonna help Coca -Cola, us. Coca Cola Plus so Coffee. So excited about this, huh? Coca Cola Plus Coffee. Plus Coffee. It tastes like coffee then? Coca, look what they Are have. you brave enough to try? Plus Coffee, huh? You want to go for that? Come on, there, open it. There you go. I don't know. Open. Which. Open. Ah, see, she had to press with the button and then this open up. That's cool. Huh? Huh? They knew it, cotton candy. Oh, I did not want that. <laughs> All right. I'm getting the full experience. Tastes like it came from Vietnam. This is old, very old, but good. Good for me, good for you. Hmm, good. Weird ass ice cream, but I'm happy. Prince of you. Keep the alcohol away from me and I stay happy. Give me alcohol and I shall shut. It's electricity. This supposedly creates electricity or plumbing or shit or something. It creates something. Let's stick to the things we know. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. How did you describe that this water wheel mill thingy creates plumbing? <laughs> And then he corrected himself by saying it creates something. <laughs> no, I said it creates electricity. <laughs> this is what your dad looks like, by the way. This. Wow. See what's going on in here? Oh, cool. Interesting life. Yeah. But honestly, you can't see what's going on over here. There's a lot of hay. There's a lot of um, Pretty natural. I, guess, I think natural. this is where the elders come together, drink a little sip of tea. This is where the babies, oh, the babies happen for sure. It's like a nice, uh, romantic, comfortable spot. You call, you uh -huh. ask a girl out. What I was thinking, but I, I see where you're going with this. Oh, you were going to go somewhere else. Got it. Okay. Um, but this is very cool. It's very nice and, and feels very comfy. You know, very warm. Good feel over here. And in case the whole thing goes on flames, there's a, obviously a. I got the call that they're gonna hang the sign right behind. Let's see if we can catch it on film. Boom bagel. Is this a Let's go downstairs so that we don't miss them dropping it. Woo, I'm out of breath. All that beer yesterday. Woo. I also had to kind of like run here. Wasn't sure when they're doing it.
do you want to say to the camera? Oh yeah. Who's not? Who's not? Who's not about Oman? Tell me. You love me? That's it. You see what I'm saying? This is Oman. Met this guy. I don't know him. He says he loves me. Oman right here for you guys. Okay. This is Oman. Okay. Rosh Hashanah is an extraordinary day. When you add Rabbi Nachman's unique flavor to it, the picture comes into sharp focus, enabling us to view the day with a new clarity. We suddenly realize that Rosh Hashanah, with the Rebbe, is not one to be missed. It gives us a chance to tap into the intrinsic power of the day itself. And with the Tzaddik's help, we can get the most possible benefit. That his followers should travel to him for Rosh Hashanah was one of the things that Rabbi Nachman was most emphatic about. He said, My Rosh Hashanah is completely new. God gave me the gift of knowing what Rosh Hashanah is. He also said that on Rosh Hashanah, he was able to help people in certain ways that he simply was not able to in the rest of the year. He put so much stress on the importance of his Rosh Hashanah that he exclaimed, My very essence is Rosh Hashanah. But let's fast forward to his last Rosh Hashanah in this world. Rabbi Nachman knew it, but no one wanted to believe it. It was too soon. He wasn't even 40 years old. Normally, he would begin preparing for his Rosh Hashanah talk the first morning of the holiday. He would start speaking late in the afternoon and go well into the evening of the second day. But this Rosh Hashanah, the tuberculosis he had struggled against for nearly three years, began to get the upper hand. Just as his preparations should have begun, he began coughing up blood. The attack was extremely violent. Night came and it still continued. Hundreds and hundreds of people were waiting in the synagogue, hoping and praying that he would come give his lesson. A bit earlier, he said, what can I tell you? Nothing is greater than to be with me for Rosh Hashanah. Anyone who has had the merit to listen to Mata Frank's speech the first night of Yom Tov can probably imagine a little bit what it must have felt like being with Rabbi Nachman. We're talking fire. This year alone, when I showed up after Mata's speech, four separate people came up to me and said they were speechless. The room was in tears, the energy indescribable. Having experienced it myself some years earlier, I know I have felt the meaning of Rosh Hashanah Sheli Ola Al Hakol. Unfortunately, as mentioned earlier, the most profound experiences happen off camera. But Oman Rosh Hashanah is here for all. I just found out that um, I'm going to the airport now, not in 12 hours. So crisis mode, packing up. Yeah, it was it was it was some yum that we're gonna have to talk about it on the podcast. Amazing. We're gonna have to unpack, motherfuckers. Hello, you got the shit done. We made it to the airport in time. That's good. Now I gotta figure out where to check in and go home. Ah, <laughs> feels good. The thought of just going back to home, but going back to Israel. Some trip this was though. Felt like it went by really fast, but boy, 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 was it a roller coaster of emotions and everything. All right, made it through passport control. I've actually had here where I pulled out my camera near the um, passport control, took my phone, deleted the video. So now I'm careful to get through fully before I film. One step closer to being back in my wife's arms. One step closer to being back home. It's quite some trip, quite the trip, I must say. Apparently, I'm not the only one flying back right now. The place is absolutely packed, and we're supposed to be taking off already. And we didn't even start boarding. Kind of what I expect leaving Oman on a Ukraine flight to Israel. I don't know what the delay is. There's zero communication, but we're all just sitting here waiting. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Back where it all started. Oh, it feels so good. All in all, I feel blessed. I feel content. I feel satisfied. Knowing and believing in the future good of our world, playing a minuscule role in the improvement of it, and having experienced some of its light. Thank you, Hashem, for my life and all those who are a part of it. 
Thank you, Hashem, for my success and the journey that came along with it. Thank you, Hashem, for Rabbi Nachman and the Rosh Hashanah that endures with him. Rabbi Nachman of Breslov taught, If you believe you can damage, then believe you can fix. If you believe that you can harm, then believe that you can heal.